burgers every day? I'm tired of this. Hey, lunch lady, make something else for once. Stop complaining. We've got a decent menu. Back then, a hundred years ago, school cafeteria served awful porridge. You're just lazy. In a hundred years, you could have figured out something better to cook. Whoa, <gasps> what's this now? Probably Chris messing with time experiments in his lab again. That's nonsense. Okay, I'll eat the porridge. Just make this madness stop. Ooh, looks like it's over. Alice, stop making a scene and just eat your burgers. Y yeah maybe I overreacted. Saw that? That's the kind of food we had back then. So no more complaints here. So your job is more important than me? Mom, Dad, what's up? Kids, don't interrupt. I'm arguing with your father. Uh, you're always bothering me. I'm moving to live at work. Hey, Dad, what's going on? Fine, leave. I'll take the money and go to the Maldives. Uh, that is it. I'm packing up. We are getting a divorce. Dad, seriously? No, I'm packing your things and throwing them out the door. See you in court. We'll see about that. Yeah, for sure. Is it just that simple for you? How could this happen? Zach, are they really getting divorced? I don't want Dad to leave. How do we turn this around? Turn it around? That's an idea. Just like today in the cafeteria, Chris is experimenting to turn back time. Chris is a crazy idiot. Even if he's your friend, that doesn't make up for the fact that he can't even invent a time machine. Yeah, I don't believe in time machines. But let's go see Chris. Maybe he can rewind time for a couple of hours. Yeah, a couple of hours could prevent our parents from fighting. Let's go to Chris's. Uh, I don't know what else to do. Chris, buddy, hey! Quiet! This is a crucial moment. Don't breathe. See? I told you he's crazy. Uh, can you postpone your crucial moment? We've got a problem. <sighs> What happened? Chris, did you send food from the past to the cafeteria today? Yeah, I did. After months of hard work, my experiment finally worked. <laughs> Can you send people to the past? We need to go back for a little while, a couple of hours. Time travel is tricky. Well, hmm, check out my research. <sighs> Gibberish. I can't understand a thing. My machine is still in the testing phase. Oh. Just admit it doesn't work at all. Alice, don't upset Chris. We need his help. I haven't gone so far as to send people to the past yet. Only objects. So come up with a plan quickly to send us. Then we need to adjust all the settings. How do we change the settings? Hey, Press something. Are you out of your mind? Don't touch anything. It's dangerous. Alice, why are you always so impatient? Step back. Oh. Oh. Ah! Ah! What's happening? What have you Turn done? it off! Uh, Alice! You, you, I've lost control of the process! Uh, disaster! Uh, a disaster! Alice messed up all the settings! Uh, 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 I have no idea where they've ended up! When they've ended up! Uh, 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 just playing tricks. I'm right in the middle of the most exciting chapter. Shh. Where are we? And why is that lady dressed so strangely? Looks like Chris's place, but everything is different. Oh, the newspaper says the year is 1920. We've been sent back a hundred years. This can't be real. Shh. What's happening? This book has such an intense plot that I'm hearing noises. Let's get out of here, quick. I think that's Chris's great grandma. She will either think we're nuts or call the cops for breaking in. Zach, where are you dragging me? Stop! Back to our school. What if Chris is there? But wait, we didn't just travel two hours back like we planned. If we're a hundred years in the past, there's no Chris here. Still, Maybe someone at school can help us. I 
can't think of anywhere else to go. Fine, let's go. I'm tired and starving. Maybe they'll give us something to eat. Alright, kids! Right down to today's topic! Why are they dressed so weirdly? They're aliens! Or maybe travelers from far off lands? No, their clothes look like they're from another planet! Aliens! Ah! All right, settle down! Who are you? And why are you causing a ruckus in my class? We're from the future! Please help! We need to go back! Uh, sorry, uh, but we're just students. Um, can we at least sit in on a class? Ah! Alert! They're from the future! That can't be! Ah! 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 All right! Calm down! So I can tell that both of you are teenagers. So yes, you could stay put for now. But cut out the nonsense about the future! Wow, thanks. You're really kind. Kind my foot! There's some kind of nutcases. I'll have to ask the police to take them to the station. Jeez, everything here is kind of spooky and ancient. We're literally in the past. Of course it's ancient. Hello, I'm Cassie. Are you guys seriously from the future? Uh, uh, I know it sounds crazy, but yeah. I've never seen clothes or fabric like this before. Feels like they're from another planet. You must be in a panic. <sighs> yeah, everything is so unfamiliar. Plus, I'm starving. And I just want to go home. But you guys are living in the Stone Age. You're not going to whip up a time machine for us, are you? Alice, come on. It's all good. Rumor has it that Mayor's got a washing machine, but that's about it around here. <laughs> Stone Age! But hey, we can have some food. Let's go to the school cafeteria. Uh, yeah, sounds good to me. I can only imagine how bad the food tastes. Here you go. Porridge and a decent filling lunch. Thanks. Oh, gross. Can we at least get some burgers? What's a burger? Man, they're these insanely tasty things from the future. If we can rustle up a sesame bun and a patty, I'll whip some up for you. Sorry, no patties in the cafeteria. This school is seriously lacking. They don't even serve meat. I want a patty! <gasps> What's gotten into you, young lady? That's a standard school lunch! You eat your stinky porridge then. Alice, you're being totally out of line. <sighs> young ladies shouldn't be causing scenes. I'm talking to the principal about this. I'll be talking to your principal too. What kind of junk are you feeding the students? What's junk? Is that a bad word? You can't talk like that. How uncouth. Alice. Uh, sorry about her. She's just freaking out. Freaking out is like having a nervous breakdown, right? Poor thing. Maybe some calming salts would help her. Do you guys do delivery? I want some real food. Sorry, she's a bit on edge. I'll take her outside to cool her off. Well, if it's nerves. But she better leave and stop causing a scene. Let's go, mm. Alice. You're a pretty decent young gentleman, Zach. I'll help you out because I fancy you. Oh, wow. Thanks. You're not so bad yourself. Let's go calm Alice down. But I want actual food. Your cafeteria is horrible. Oh, my goodness. What a fuss. Yeah, spring seems to bring out the worst in some people. I took Alice to the ladies' room to freshen up and get to her senses. She needs some time. <laughs> Yeah, like exactly a hundred years. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't help with that. But hey, I'll give you a tour of the school so you don't get lost. Um, can I hold your hand so I don't wander off? So here, boys and girls train in separate groups. Look, they won tons of awards for their sports skills. Whoa, old school black and white picks. Cool. Picks? No, we call them photo cards. Pix is just a future word for photos. Sounds kind of cool though, right? 
You can stick pics up on your wall with pins. Yeah, I guess pics is a beautiful word. Wow, you're already talking like the 21st century. You're so fun to be around. So what else is there in your world? Well, we've got the same kind of trophies. Oh. And we definitely don't have girls like you. Zach, were you trying to insult me? No, people kiss is a nice gesture. If a couple isn't engaged, kissing is considered indecent. Uh, I had no idea. Do you think I'm indecent? What did I do wrong? <laughs> uh, Cassie, I'm sorry. All right, okay, I'll keep it together for now. Let's give this horrible school a shot. <sighs> Today, we're going to practice column addition. Piece of cake, we learned that back in the day. But seriously, why bother when you've got calculators? Did she just say bother? What's that all about? Must be some alien language. <gasps> Miss Alice, if you're going to distract us, why not show us how to do column addition? Sure thing, it's easy peasy. Got a marker handy? Pardon me? What do you write with? Chalk, obviously. It's getting all over my fingers. Write down 144 plus 122. Okay. Ah, this chalk's getting all over my clothes. And that squeak is driving me nuts. Don't try to cover up your cluelessness with complaining. I'm not dumb. I can do this in my head. It's 263. <gasps> Which? I'm done. Your lesson is horrible. I'm all dirty now. This is so cringy. Yes, she totally said cranky. I think she meant crusty. All right, everyone, calm down! Zach, I can't handle this anymore. Let's go home. This school ain't gonna do us any favors. How, when we're stuck in the past? Let's head home to our place. I've got the keys in my pocket. What if we can actually open the doors and get back home? Well, if you got the keys, we might as well give it a shot. At least we'll have a roof over our heads. Zach ticked me off. But if he really is from the future, he might end up in trouble. Oh well, I'll keep an eye on them. Oh man, there's Nada here. This is our street. Where's our house? <laughs> We're in an empty field. Our house hasn't been built yet. Where the heck are we supposed to crash? What's the plan? Oh, it's leaving on the streets. <laughs> Sister, chill out. We will figure something out. They're totally stranded. My heart goes out to them. Zach, Alice? Cassie, I, I thought you were angry with me. I am angry with you, but I help people in trouble. You guys got nowhere to go, right? Yeah! <laughs> Teacher Christy is my mom. I'll try to persuade her to let you live with us for a while. Oh my god, that meanie teacher is your mom? She despises me! <laughs> uh, Cassie, Alice didn't mean to diss your mom. She just blurred stuff out without thinking. Uh, sure, we're down for your offer. All right, let's go talk to mom. Mom, hello, these are Zach and Alice. Yeah, I remember these troublemakers, especially the girl, but I only gave them a pass to attend classes. Mommy, hear me out. Zach and Alice have quite a dilemma. Can they stay with us for a bit, pretty please? Sorry, Mrs. Christie, if we acted in an indecent <gasps> manner. We're just totally lost. Uh, yeah, my bad. My bed? What about that piece of furniture? You clearly have a troubled way with words, too. <laughs> nah, I mean, sorry. Mommy, please, can they stay with us? Fine, fine. Let these loons stay under my watch, but they better not stir up any trouble. I'll call over the officer. Woo, thank you, Mommy. Wow, looks like I'll be bunking with Cassie. Found something to be happy about? We'll be squatting with this creep fest teacher. What's that supposed to mean? Don't worry. Freak Fest is a compliment. Thanks a bunch, Mrs. Christie. Too bad the parks are not as pretty now as they are in summer. Yeah, and it's kind of chilly. 
How about we hit up a cafe instead or head to the mall? What's a cafe though? Well, it's a place where you have some coffee. We only got taverns around, but they don't let teens in. So, how do you guys have fun then? Well, embark on a leisurely stroll. Leisurely stroll? Yeah, like you and me do now. <gasps> and there's this new thing now. Movies! It's amazing! They're a miracle! Uh, movies? Yeah, I guess that's something. Let's go, you'll show me the movies. <laughs> What's so funny? It's just hard to imagine movies being a miracle. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> silent movies are kind of funny. Is there any other kind of movies? We've got color movies, with sound, and even in 3D, it's like being in the real world. You're kidding, that's impossible! Not for real, we've got tons of different movies, and they show loads of love stories. Really? Yeah. It's romantic to go watch those kind of movies with someone like you. Oh, that sounds great. I mean, I like you. Uh, Zach, focus on the screen or you'll miss everything. Why are you chatter already? Such rude kids. You better leave. Fine, fine. Let's watch those funny silent folks. Ah. Uh. What? Help me take off my coat like a gentleman. Ah. <laughs> you guys have so many weird traditions. Don't you have courtship traditions? It's simpler for us. Life's just easier because we've got gadgets. Gadgets? Well, gadgets. It's like having a cinema that fits in a small box in your pocket. And there's music and a phone in it too. I can't even imagine that. And we can talk however we want, and kiss whenever we want. I didn't mean to offend you, Cassie. It's just that we can kiss girls. It's not a big deal. And your parents don't scold you for that? Of course not. We're grown-ups already. So you don't think I'm indecent? No, I kissed you because I like you. Sorry if it bothered you. You guys are so free and bold. Wish I could live in your time. <laughs> You're such a klutz! You always mess everything up! It's because all the laundry is done by the washing machines! Don't come up with silly excuses! Learn to be a proper lady! Learn to be a proper lady! Uh. We still gotta wring out the laundry by hand! Grab one end, I'll take the other! Twist it! Ow! My hands hurt! I'm not doing this stupid thing! You're supposed to help with chores! I took you in, didn't I? This is all nonsense! How do you even wring this out? Oops! What did you do now? It's cause the fabric in your time is nasty! You curse like a sailor! I won't put up with it anymore! Huh? Fine then! What are you gonna do? You can't even stop me from watching TikToks because there ain't no TikToks here! <laughs> ah, I want my smartphone! <laughs> Officer! You gotta help me out here! What's up, ma'am? Someone giving you trouble? There's this girl from the future in my house! She's gonna wreck the whole place! The future? How's that possible? I don't know! Maybe she's nuts! She has a very indecent and horrible clothes! And she's such a troublemaker! Mm, well, alright, if she's disturbing the peace, I'll have to arrest her! Mrs. Christie, where's my sister? Has she been causing a ruckus? Oh my! Your sister stood up quite the scene, shouting and acting up, so the officer actually heard it and took her away! What? Mom, why didn't you stand up for Alice? I don't defend girls acting indecently! Where is the station? I gotta find Alice! Mom, 
Alice is just shocked by our time. I didn't expect this from you. Casey, forget about those crazy kids. They're lunatics. No, I'll help Alice. Let me go. I have rights. I want to call my lawyer, you stupid goose. Miss, calm down. You're acting like a lunatic. And what is wrong with the clothes? Release my sister Alice. She's innocent. Oh, another weirdo in strange clothes. I heard you're from the future causing trouble. Officer, these are my friends. They're just dressed up from the masquerade. We had a party. Yeah, we're not from the future. It's just a prank. <laughs> yeah, a prank. What's a prank anyway? It means a joke, you stupid idiots. Yeah, just a joke. Then why was your friend causing trouble? Almost broke through the bars. She's in shock. She's a good girl. Was at the masquerade and you tossed her in jail. Hmm, if that's true, this is awkward. Yeah, it's true. I'm actually a proper lady. Mm-hmm. Well, if that's the case, I'll let you go. Under your watch, keep an eye on your friends, all right? Yes, sure. Thanks, officer. We will give her something to calm down. She is just nervous. <sighs> all right, then. <laughs> this is a nightmare. I'm exhausted. How do we get home? <laughs> uh, I don't know, sis. I don't get it, but maybe you need to go back where you came from? We appeared at Chris's house, but there are strangers there. Maybe they're Chris's relatives? Maybe you should talk to them. They might let you in. Yeah, remember Chris saying his family's been here for over a hundred years? So what? They don't have a time machine. And Chris said his great-granddad was a famous inventor. Wow, sis. Why are you listening to Chris so closely? Oh, shut up. We need to talk to Chris's great-granddad. Maybe he'll help us. Great idea. I'll come with you. Hello? Hey there, kiddos. But sorry there's no lectures today. My husband's a busy scientist, but I can offer you some tea. Look, he is the spitting image of Chris. So what? We're here for a reason. We're from the future, from your descendant. Alice, why are you always so blunt? Um, excuse me? Are you guys okay? Showing signs of fever, delirium, dizziness, anything? We're not crazy. Look at our clothes. They're made from fabrics that don't exist yet. If you're a scientist, you should get it. Fascinating. Synthetic fabrics with them. Amazing colors. We really are from the future. Your great-grandson Chris invented a time machine. Help us get back. Here, Chris even tried to explain his research to me and gave me some notes. Huh. Only my grandson could have done this. Just as brilliant as I am. They even named him after you. Yeah, I can see he's just as nerdy as you. Uh, so, will you help us? If I detect residual traces of your displacement in the air, perhaps I can assist you. Awesome, thank you. Epic, I'll be home! Epic? Is it some tea flavor? I can only offer you Earl Grey, will that work? Thank you so much, we'd love to have tea. Mrs. Cindy took Casey to see the greenhouse, and honestly, I'm clueless about flowers. Right now, all I can think about is how to get home. Alice, do you really want to go home that badly? Heck yeah! Smartphones, decent food, internet, I can't survive without those! What if we just stay here? <laughs> Our parents are splitting up back home. It's a mess there. But here... And what's so great about here? Here, there's Cassie. You're kidding! You're crushing on this girl and you want me to spend my life in some ancient past? Come on, Alice! <sighs> Forget it, Zag! I don't even want to hear you out! I'm sorry. Hey there! Oh, Alice, why are the tears? Uh, I should probably go too. Please help her calm down. Alice, what's going on? Zach doesn't want to go back home. Our parents are splitting up there, but I still want to go home. I can't stay here. You know, I think you should follow your heart. And Zach too. 
And no one can force you to stay here, Alice. My heart says you're pretty cool. I get why Zack doesn't want to go back. You're cool too, Alice. Let's stay friends no matter what, even if you go back to the future. Yeah, for sure. All right, I've built a time machine, but it's unstable. Only enough power for one trip. Are you guys ready for this, my young adventurers? Yeah, take us home! Cassie, how will I survive without you? Oh, 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 Whoa. oh, move on! Make up your minds already, it's time! Zach, your future is more important than me. I have to let you go. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Goodbye, Cassie! Zach, I love you and I'll never forget you! What? I love you too and I can't oh, imagine oh, my life oh, without oh, you, Cassie! Oh, oh. 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 Oops! Weren't there only two of them supposed to go to the future? Oh. Talk about a twist! Oh. Eureka! The, <laughs> the experiment worked! You guys are back from the past in one piece! <laughs> <laughs> but why are the three of you? Is this the future? Zach, why did you bring me here? My precious smartphone! How many messages have I missed? <laughs> Explain to me what's going on. This is my smartphone. Sorry, folks, but I'm heading home. Please explain why I'm here. Come on, I'll show you. You'll understand after you see. Um, hey, hey, stop! Um, you guys have to spill about the time travel adventure. Sorry, Chris, but I gotta take care of Cassie. Zach, wait! Nope. Unbelievable! Hey, hey, hey! What about my research? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's great. Hey, guys! Check it out. This is my girl Cassie. She's joining us. Aw, you guys are adorable! <laughs> Congrats, dude! Your girl's a knockout. <laughs> See? Kissing is totally cool here. No biggie. Uh, yeah, cool. Loving the outfit, by the way. Thanks. Zach got it for me at, uh, what's it called? The mall. Right, the mall. Sweet, let's hang out. I'll give you the grand tour. Thanks, that sounds awesome. You know, Zach, I'm really digging the vibe here in the future. Just wait, it gets even better. Oh, let me show you another video. That's the movie in the box Zach was talking about, right? Super interesting. <laughs> Uh, hey, honey, let's snag that necklace for you. Don't try to sweet talk me. You still owe me that Maldives trip. Mom, Dad, weren't you two planning to split up? Darling, you know us too well. I just love teasing him to get off work mode. Don't worry, kiddo. We fight, we make up. It's how we roll, right? Seriously? Zach and I thought you guys were serious about splitting. Aw, sweetie. Hope you didn't stress out too much. Let's just say we've had quite the roller coaster ride because of you two. Mom, Dad, meet Cassie, my girlfriend. Please, no drama while she's here, okay? Oh, we're past that. All good now. Casey, lovely to meet you. Come on in. Congratulations. Zach got himself a stunner. How about some soda, cocktails, and burgers? Uh, never tried any of those, but sounds interesting. Coming right up. I'm really liking it here. The food's amazing and the smartphones. But I do miss my mom. Cassie, I feel bad you're away from your mom. But hey, at least we're together. But Chris has a time machine, right? So if I get super homesick, can he zap me back? Well, yeah, technically. Awesome. I'll go chat with your dad. Man. I dread the day Cassie wants to go back to the past. Don't sweat it, bro. Seems like Casey's enjoying herself here. Hopefully that day's a long way off. I sure hope so. Congrats, folks. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening over there? Just fiddling with the operator's earpiece. How's it going? It's wet. <laughs> Don't go licking that finger. Yeah, I got it. Your great-grandson came up with a machine. <sighs> oh! Why are you messing with my car? Hands off, Scram! Cassie, how am I gonna survive without you? You're not that? even in the shot! Darn! <laughs> Hello, 
birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tyler. Happy birthday to you. No time, need to get to school, hurry up! Ah, you know that school can wait! Whoa, what was that? <sighs> wow, this hatch is so dark and scary! Ugh. Why is my sister so badly behaved? Don't you understand that you can't go in there? Ugh. But Tyler! That's it, quickly to school, we're running late! Ugh, stop, let go! Ugh. Finally, the long-awaited moment has arrived. Time to mine precious gems. And there will be more gold, too. Mr. Chris, everything's ready. I, I hope, hope you've you closed the hatch, the, on the, hatch on the hatch on the school grounds. I don't think so. Idiots! Close it immediately! The students will come soon. No one must know about our excavations. Sorry, it won't happen again. Be more careful. After all, we're in the basement, and above us is a school full of students. Everything should go unnoticed. Absolutely. We'll try to mine the gold as quickly as possible. <sighs> gold. My, My gold. gold. Soon I will I build will a build house out of house this metal. With, with this precious gold. metal. Guys, I'm so glad we're back at school. <laughs> Yeah, summer vacation went by so fast. Now we'll see each other every day. You were traveling all summer. Zach, I missed you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Miss Christy will come soon. Let's play a prank on her. <laughs> Good thing I brought this gun. Let's hide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where are all the students? Miss Christy, did you miss us? <laughs> Zach, you get an F! The classes haven't started yet, what F? You're the first student ever to get a bad grade before class starts! Miss Christy, let's not fight. We missed you so much. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Good afternoon. Oh, the new students! Tyler's in high school, and Mia's in middle school. I'll be back in a minute. You guys get to know each other. Hello, <laughs> and welcome to our school. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> guys, what if we throw a secret party tonight? Uh, right here in the school. Yeah! yeah!
What's this? Why did the alarm go off? Mr. Chris, someone opened a portal in the dungeon! What? How could this happen? I don't know. If they find that pile of gold in the dungeon, we're finished. Quickly, lock the school. Don't let anyone out. Those parasitic students will regret meddling where they shouldn't have. It will be done. Everyone over here! The secret party is starting! <laughs> Hey, sweetheart, let's dance! <laughs> Tyler, you're cool. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Wow, that's awesome. Guess I could take that role. Hey, you're so funny. Oh, my! What's happening at the school? Why is there a party here? Darn, we've been caught. You should have signed the papers and gone home! Lessons start tomorrow! Yes? Well, we organized an initiation for the newbie. Hurry home! I expect you at lessons tomorrow! Oh no, there's a grate here! What the heck? How do we get out? Are we locked in? Uh huh. All right, uh, we need to check the second exit. I'm on it. I'll check right now. I'm going with you. <sighs> What's going on? Where is the teacher? She should let us out! <laughs> it's the end! They purposely locked us in! <laughs> oh, Kitty, please! Cry louder! <laughs> that will help! I'm scared! I want to go home! <laughs> oh, uh, oh no, it's locked here too! Something's definitely wrong here! Hey! Uh, who's playing tricks on us? Open up right now! Crazy! Just crazy! Fine, let's go back to the others. So, did it work? No, there's a very strong lock here. Uh, did you do it? No, it's the same, we can't get out! We checked the windows, they're locked too! All right, what are you doing here? I told you to go home! Uh, we'd love to, but there's a grate here. And all the windows and doors are locked. What? What is this nonsense? Does anyone have a phone? No. no. Oh, right. We have a school rule against phones. Mm -hmm. Tyler, where's your sister Mia? Oh, no. My little sister, where did she go? Oh, Mia. Oh. going on here? <laughs> I lost my sister. She's nowhere to be found. <laughs> and Cindy from middle school is gone too. Guys, did you find anything out? No. All the exits, everything is closed. The kids are gone. Oh, oh, oh my. What's happening? Who locked us in the school? And those stupid phone rules! No one will ever know we're trapped here! Kids! We must stay calm! Maybe Mia and Cindy already managed to get out! Ah! Phew! Well, that was an interesting tour of the school basement! Yeah! If it weren't for spiders! <laughs> oh, hey there! <laughs> Mia! You're here! <sighs> well, where else would I be? Cindy and I somehow opened a portal to the dungeon! And we went down there! What portal? What are you talking about? Uh-huh. Yeah? Well, I just touched this golden statue! And the portal just opened! Watch! Oh! Here it is again! Oh my! What is that? Oh! Oh! I'm feeling dizzy! <sighs> what portal? Is this our school or a circus? We need to go down there and find out what's there. I'm going. Who's coming? I'll go. And me. Kids, be careful down there! Please! I'll stay here with the others!
This is insane. There's really a dungeon here. Ah, did you think there would be butterflies here? Why did you come? Blah, blah, blah. Back off. Girls, let's not fight. Come on. But it's really creepy here. Guys! Mrs. Mrs. Melanie? Melanie? Hooray! You found me! What are you doing here? A couple of days ago, I entered the portal. I was curious about what was in there. Then I don't remember how I ended up in a cage. Uh, careful! Uh, oh. That's insane, Mrs. Melanie! We all got locked up in school, the kids found this very portal, and now we're here! <sighs> Something terrible is going on here! Let's go quickly! No, oh, what's shining over there? <gasps> Let's go quickly back! Wow, it's so shiny! Now you're caught! And who are you? Ah! Uh, we're back! Melanie? You? How did this happen? I went to that basement, just like the kids, but they locked me in there! What if they, you know… Tyler, shut up! It's just a system malfunction and the gates got closed! Maybe it was an accident with Mrs. Melanie, too! It's probably dark outside now! Are we going to spend the night here? I don't want to. Don't cry. Maybe everything will work out. Oh, I'm still hungry. To the cafeteria. There's definitely food there. Uh-huh. Ariel, wait. I think we forgot something. You forgot your brain. <laughs> we came back. Found Mrs. Melanie. And Harry. Harry! Harry! Oh, we, we forgot, forgot him! him. Oh. Did he stay there? What do we do? We're so dumb. We need to go back and get him. But I won't go down there again. Quick, let's tell the others. Oh. Well, well, well. What do we have here? We found him in the basement. A bunch of students snuck in here. How annoying. They can't just stay in school. They have to go into my portal. What would you like to do with him? Huh, I'm feeling generous today. We'll erase his memory. Okay, we'll prepare and start. Now he'll forget how he got here. Easy peasy. We've already told everyone that Harry is missing. We need to go back down to the basement again. Zach, are you with us? Yes, I'll go kiss Eva now, in case I don't come back. I don't know what to do. My hands are shaking. Kitty panicking won't help now. But what if, oh, what if? Calm down, breathe. Everything will be all right and we'll find Harry. That's it, I can't anymore. Zach, this might be the last night of our lives. Um, what are you talking about? Don't interrupt me, I like you and I felt this way for a long time. Are you serious? How am I supposed to respond? I have a girlfriend. I've been dating Eva for two years, Kitty. Snap out of it. Zach, don't leave me. <laughs> what a strange sound. Who's crying here? <laughs> Mia? What happened? Nothing! Please close the locker! I'll stay here for a while! <laughs> no, that won't do. Come out quickly! <laughs> I'm scared! <laughs> come here, come here. <laughs> Sit down. I'm scared too. But we have no choice right now. We have to stay at school. It's already evening and no one has saved us yet! I think rescuers are on their way. What if they don't save us? Shh, 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 shh. Oh, sister. Why are you crying, little sis? I want mom. <laughs> Mom's in another city right now. She doesn't even know what happened to us. Yeah, you guys are really unlucky. You came to a new school and then this. I'm in shock myself. <sighs> Uh, I think you're hugging me. Oh, 
Eva, you're so cool. I wish my brother had a girlfriend like you. <laughs> Uh, um. Mia, I think you're saying too much. It's just your imagination. What's going on? Harry? Guys, was I asleep? Uh, the guys were about to go down into the basement to look for you. I can't remember how I ended up here. And in general, my head hurts. Let's go. We need Let's to tell, them we, need to tell them we found him. Let's yeah, go. Let's, Let's go. go. Bro, you're back! Seems like it. Harry, what happened down there? Do you remember? No, I've forgotten everything, and my head hurts. Well, maybe he hit his head! Gosh, poor Harry. He needs to rest. Well, now we should all go to sleep in the gym. Everyone sleep! <laughs> Seth, let's get things organized here, because we're sleeping in the gym. All right, Miss Christie. I can't imagine how we're going to sleep here. Yeah, we don't even have phones and the school is locked. Gosh. Girls, we'll stick together and everything will be fine. We'll forget. Uh, uh, you little brat, uh, give me that chocolate. Uh, I got it first in the cafeteria. Uh, it's mine. You're taking the candy from a child. Uh, what are you doing? Gwen, why are you taking Cindy's chocolate? Just because she's younger, does that mean you can shout at a child? Apologize now! Sorry, kid. <laughs> oh boy, I thought I'd be attending class for the first time, but now I'm about to sleep here. <sighs> Gosh, what was that? Harry, please rest. What happened? Nothing really. I just felt like screaming. <laughs> Mia, let's go eat chocolate. <laughs> okay, but first, I need to pee. <laughs> Wait, I want to go too. All right, whoever needs to use the bathroom, come out now. You can't roam around the school at night. Uh, I'll go. <clears throat> Oh, I feel like going too. Zach, wait. What's the matter? I want to go with you. To the restroom? No, just to walk around the school. Kitty, back off. I'm not in the mood. Kitty, what's with you? Maybe you'll change your mind and want to date me. Kitty, you're crazy. Wow. Did they just kiss like grown-ups? I don't know. I don't get them yet. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Wait, but isn't Zach dating Eva? No way. Eva likes Tyler. I'm sure of it. Mm. Harry, are you feeling better? No, I still don't remember anything. Then, go to sleep. I'm scared. Me too. I can't sleep while we're locked in here. Then I'll help you sleep. I'll tell you a spooky story. Ah! Ah! Listen up. Two years ago, a student disappeared from the school. She might be gone, but no one knows why. Miss Christie, enough already. We're supposed to be sleeping. Where is everyone? Did they get lost? I hope they didn't go into that portal. Right. Or they might meet the spirit of the girl. Oh, oh this is crazy. crazy. Okay, enough. <laughs> What's going on? I can't sleep. I want to go home. Not all this. Oh, why did the door just open? Oh, who are you? Come with me. Do you study here too? I'm the spirit of the girl who disappeared. Why'd you do that? Follow me to the school attic. I won't go. Then you won't join the others. No, anything but that. I'm coming, fine. Enter. What do you want? Tell me. 
Only you can see me. What? How come? You're sitting at the desk where I used to sit. Oh, now I'm even more scared. I won't hurt you. I just need to do something. So tell me. See that old junk? And? If you dig through it, you'll find something interesting. Why did I come here? I should have slept in the gym. Hurry up. What's this? Don't you see? Some pictures? Turn them over. Zach? What? Are these photos of Zach? Why are they here? You'll be shocked when you find out the truth. <laughs> what on earth? My goodness. What is going on? Why are you shouting? You woke everyone up! Over there! It's terrible! Ten. Let me sleep! I just managed to fall what asleep! What I found here! It's a picture of Zack from when he was a child! Really? My photo? What? How is this even possible? Where did you find this? There! There! A ghost! It led me there! Looks like Gwen has mental problems! Oh! You are shameless! Stop scaring the kids! Uh, what's that sound? Well, it sounds like a gate. Maybe they've been opened. Mm -hmm. Let's go check it out quickly. This is quite an adventure we're having. Mm. Oh, let's go to the basement again while we're here, Cindy. It will be fun for sure. <laughs> hey, isn't it dangerous there? Didn't you see what happened to Harry? That is not related. Let's go! Mia, if we get yelled at, I'll tell everyone it's all your fault! Okay, okay, let's go! <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't! Stop annoying me! While everyone's gone to the gates, we'll hang out in the basement and then come back! <laughs> all right! See? There's nothing to be scared of here! <laughs> Mia, what was that? Where? You didn't hear that sound? Maybe something fell and you just got scared. Let's go back quick! <laughs> <gasps> oh! Hey! What's that shining over there? Where? Wow! Is that all gold? Wow, Cindy! We could seriously buy a whole chocolate factory with all this gold! <laughs> You're right! <laughs> Let's stuff as much as we can into our pockets! And if it doesn't all fit, we'll come back a few more times! <laughs> Mwah! Guess we're rich now! <laughs> hey, you two little ones! What are you doing here? Hello! Who are you? Did you come to rescue us? Yeah, of course. Ah! Let me go! Ah! Let me go! Ah! Someone! Ah! Hey, the little one got away. Darn it. Mia, what about me? I'll come back for you. Well, who do we have here? Here's the little one. We found her in the basement collecting gold. Looks like they're all in trouble now. Absolutely. <laughs> what do you want to do with her? Follow our usual plan. We'll wipe her memory. All right, we're ready. Now, let's begin. Little one, you won't remember anything. Just like Harry. <laughs> what the heck? It's locked! So the sound we heard, was it all in our heads? Probably. What were we hoping for? Who's gonna come and save us in the middle of the night? <laughs> What's this? Someone's playing a cruel joke on us. So, did it work? Did the photos help you get to the truth? You again? What do you want? Why are you following me? Who's Gwen talking to over there? Just leave me alone. If you're not gonna say anything, then don't bother me. Gwen, 
Uh, what? Have you always uh, been this crazy, been this or crazy? have I just forgotten? Just forgotten? Gosh, can't you see? There's a ghost girl standing right in front of me, and she wants something. There's nobody there, Gwen. What do you mean? I'm not crazy, really. How are you going to prove that to us? <sighs> what are you waiting for? I need to prove I can see you. Just tell them that Kitty kissed Zach. I saw it myself in the hallway. No way. The ghost said Zach and Kitty were kissing. What? Is that true, Zach? Yes, it happened. Zach actually kissed me first. Are you insane? <gasps> Jerk! I hate you! I should have dumped you a long time ago! Uh. Seriously, Zach? You're such a jerk. See? I proved there's a ghost, and the ghost led me to those photos! That's it! Let's get out of here! Enough about your ghost already! <laughs> How could I? I betrayed my friend! <laughs> me, a little sister, who hurt you? Tyler! I'm the worst person in the world! What? <laughs> who said that? I know myself! I abandoned Cindy! Where? Over there! In the dungeon! We went together! And then... <laughs> Mia, where did she go? Well, some guards in white caught us! I managed to escape! But not Cindy! <laughs> what? There are others here besides us? Yes, Tyler! What's with today? Why is everyone crying? Eva! Tyler, I'm sorry to interrupt, but my boyfriend cheated on me! Let me cry! I loved him! <laughs> and I love my friend! <laughs> All right, girls, I'll try to help you. Everything will be okay. <gasps> Where am I? Cindy, you're back! What? You forgot? We went there together, and there was gold, too! Tyler, she also has memory problems! She disappeared like Harry, and then was found! It's definitely connected! All right, girls, quick, follow me! We need to figure out what's happening in this school! Christy, I don't know how to calm the children down! I'm out of ideas! Yeah, lying that everything is fine isn't working anymore. Uh, Miss Christy, are we going to be here much longer? Someone locked us in school and no one knows who we are! <laughs> yes. I'm afraid to tell you, but it seems we don't know how to get out of here. No! no it can't be! I've always hated this school. I knew something weird would happen here. Everyone listen, Cindy just came back from the dungeon! And she doesn't remember anything like Harry! Oh no, is something terrible happening there? It's decided! We need to go to the basement! Some will stay here with Mrs. Melanie, and some will come with me! This is it! We're doomed! <laughs> Quickly, everyone check! Eva, wait! What do you want? It was just a misunderstanding. I don't want to lose you. Uh, get off! I don't need you, got it? I'll find a new boyfriend who will respect me. Oh. Let's go carefully and don't panic. <laughs> I'm scared. Ariel, I told you. Are you turning into a drama queen like Kitty? No, I don't want to kiss Zach. Oh, thanks for reminding me. Girls, let's calm down. Harry, do you remember anything? Where were you going? No, I don't remember anything. <gasps> Look, something's glowing over there. True, let's head that way. Mrs. Melanie, guys, over here. Why this room? There are just some documents and some books. The ghost showed me this way. The ghost? When? Are you mocking us again? Go and check for yourselves what she wants from me. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I just enjoy watching no one believe you and everyone thinks you're crazy. 
All because of you! Oh no, it can't be! Did they finally understand? What's going on? The documents! They say our principal is... Mr. Chris! So? We've never seen him anyway. Well, he's Zach's father! My father? Oh no, that's my last name! So that's what those photos in the attic were? Your father left them there! My father put me in this school! Uh, and he runs it! Uh, how could he? I knew nothing! Uh. Darn! My son found out everything! Attention, attention! Everything's blown! Prepare for plan B! Release the smoke! Kids, quickly leave! We need to get everyone back! Oh, uh, what's this? Oh, I'm so sleepy. Uh. Oh, wow! We found an exit! No way! Wow, it's morning! We were there the whole night! Let's quickly free our friends! Uh-huh, good idea. You thought you were smarter than us? Oh, please, please don't hurt us! don't hurt us! <laughs> <laughs> what else? Now it's definitely the end for you! Ah! 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 Snowball, I love you all! Ah! Yelling, my ears hurt! Dad? Yep, here we are, son. Mr. Chris, can you explain what's happening here? <sighs> well, basically, I'm mining gold here. I bought this school and purposely became the principal. Why did you lock us up? <laughs> because you were snooping around! And you almost ruined my plan. So you'll release us now? Nope. Now I'll erase all your memories and continue mining gold illegally. <laughs> Dad, let them go, please. And you, son, definitely need to forget, because... It's done! <laughs> oh, is he alive? Of course! Kids, you saved us! I'm shocked! <laughs> For once, these little ones are so helpful! Little ones, what would we do without you? <gasps> Where's my brother? Oh, they went to the basement. Everyone hurry there. Oh, it's over. <laughs> Why did I quit the school? They're definitely not going to let us out from here. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm here. Everything will be all right. Wow. Is this a passage? Incredible! So that's where the exit was! Look! There they are! And who in the world are those people in the white? You kidding? They wanted to take us! Don't you remember? Looks like Cindy and Harry had their memories erased! Now it all makes sense! What should we do? How should we save the others? Uh, leave that to us! Hey, dummies! We're here! What? How did you get here? Losers with guns! We're gonna turn you into the police! Toop, 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 toop. Oh, bless you! <laughs> Could this finally be ending? Uh, oh, uh. Mrs. Melanie! We're saved! It's terrible! Zach's father was in charge! He locked us up in here! My father likes son. Mia! Where's my Mia? Uh, 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 uh. Those guards are idiots! They got scared of us and jumped into the water! That's it, we're going home! Enough of this stupid school! Then we'll take Cindy with us! Tyler, I'm going with you. I feel calmer when you're around. W what? She's with Tyler? Why? My dad's a criminal and Eva left me! Why? Zach, if you want, you can stay with me! But it's dangerous to stay here! Your dad is crazy! So, looks like you figured everything out! 
So that's why you came. Yes, to punish Zack's dad and turn him into the police. Thank you. You've been a great help. Can I hug you? Go ahead. Hey, Gwen, are you hugging the air again? We're done filming. Let's go read the comments and choose the best story. Right, guys, remember our collab? You still have time to submit your story. <laughs> Very soon, we'll be selecting the best plot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? Guys, are you? <laughs> you are! <laughs> <laughs> okay! Oh! Mrs. Ms. Ms. Mary! <laughs> Why did you have to get involved? <laughs> Don't interrupt, sit down! <laughs> <laughs> you should hug! <laughs> Uh, we're having a party for the new kids. Oh no, an initiation. <laughs> I want to go with you. To the bathroom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can be losers, set me free. You make me win every way. You show me how to spread my ways. Yes, I'm the winner of the day. Yes, I'm the winner. Ah. Dina, catch! So, time for some joy! We're gonna catch the ball now! Tina, how are you? Are you okay? Ah, we have to do something! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Are we going crazy? Fear, <gasps> calm down. What do we do now? What if she stays like this? <laughs> Yuck. Hey, disgust. It hurts. Step aside. She needs to cry. No way. We're not some snot noses. It seems Tina really hit her head. Uh -huh. Tina, Tina, let me help you. It's the end. He lifted us up. What's happening? The remote is broken. Tina is stuck in anger. What the heck did you pick me up, idiot? Get out. You're annoying me. Oh, what is she talking about? He is her crush. Oh. You're annoying me too. And your stupid basketball. Crazy. Let's go, Anita. This is a fiasco. Everything's annoying! I want to get home as soon as possible! <sighs> Finally fixed! Do something about her! Now we're going to cry! We've pushed away our crush! Sadness, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't touch the remote! You're not needed here at all! <laughs> It's okay. I'll come home, eat a chocolate bar, and I'll feel better. <laughs> Sweetie, hello. How was school? Fine. I just hit my head, but it's nothing. <sighs> Your mother and I have something to tell you. The thing is, I've been offered a job in another city, and we're moving. What? 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 <gasps> How did this happen? Oh no! What do I do? What do I do? Exactly! I need to tell Tyler urgently! He has a right to know! <laughs> Wait! Where are you going? Uh, hello, Tyler! Wanna talk? Hmm. What do you want? You hurt me! Sorry, I didn't mean to! I don't know what got into me! 
I don't want to listen to you. You said so many nasty things. Listen, moron. I'll show you now. Don't want to listen to me? If you don't care about me, just say it. After your words, I don't care. Hold on now. You're getting on my nerves. Ah! <laughs> Yuck! A crying boy! Yuck, don't whine! <laughs> oh no! What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you deserve, idiot! Hello? Are we leaving already? <laughs> Our new home is just lovely. You'll live here while your room is being renovated, okay? Yeah, sure thing. We're not going to live in this dump. Yuck, Mom, it's dirty here. I don't want to live here. Don't worry, sweetheart. Bear with it. It's only for a while. Let's not be party poopers. Let's make the parents happy. All right, I'll try to get used to it. Okay. Don't be sad! <laughs> what are you doing? She's already nervous! I wanted to cheer her up! Hand it over! The old man needs to know how to scare us! No, he just wanted a joke! <laughs> hmm. We have a new student in our class. Please welcome her and be kind. <laughs> oh, the teacher is so warm-hearted. <laughs> now we'll get to know everyone here. Tina, tell us a little about yourself. Hi, everyone. My name is Tina, and I love cheerleading. <laughs> Cheerleader. <laughs> uh, I have many friends in a big house. <laughs> well, I had a house, and I had friends. <laughs> Is she crying? <laughs> Sadness, what have you done? We'll get embarrassed now. Uh, oh no, everything is lost. Ah! All right, stop it. She needs support. <laughs> we don't like whiners here. They're getting on my nerves. I'll show you now. Shut up, everyone. You think it's easy for me? I'd like to see you if you had to leave home. Would that be easy? Why are you yelling? Go back to your home and yell there. Back off, all of you. <laughs> You're annoying. Tina, wait, where are you going? Happy now? Why did you upset the new girl? I also think it's too much. She's a nice girl. Ooh, Zach has a crush. <laughs> so, did we show them good? Ah, we embarrassed Tina in front of the whole class. What a nightmare. Oh. Sadness, it's all your fault. If you hadn't interfered with the controller, Tina wouldn't have been whining. But I was just doing my job. You're just getting in the way. <gasps> All right, you have a new job. Stand in the circle. But why? I want to help too. This is your task, clear? This is the circle of sadness, and you can't leave it. What's Tina up to? What on earth have I done? It's like I had a nervous breakdown. <sighs> Sweetie, don't blame yourself. <sighs> it's your fault. But she needs to cry right now! Stay there! Enough! Uh, I want to go home to my friends. I am not needed here. <laughs> what? Why is she?
she crying? Did you do this? Okay, that's it. It's too much. I asked you not to interfere. Ah! Ah! You are a totally useless emotion for Tina. Ah! Girls, when they get back, I'll give them a thrashing! Ah, we are doomed without them! Calm down! <gasps> we'll handle this. The main thing is not to interfere when it's not necessary. I hope they get back as soon as possible! We need to somehow win over her classmates and fix what we messed up in class. Huh. <gasps> I know! We'll treat them. Is that a good idea? Stop whining! Huh? Pass! Over here! Here you go! Uh. <laughs> Look! Someone left pizza here! <gasps> it's from Tina! Wow! Unexpected! Cool! <laughs> Hi, Tina. Thank you for the pizza. Okay, we need to react somehow. Are you crazy? You want to yell at him? Let's do nothing! Hey, what? All right, it's time. Ooh, enough aggression! We've already had enough from them! Come over here, you decided to humiliate us? Come on! What happened? Why are you silent? Mm. Wake up! Hello? Mm. Let me! Oh no! We need to save her! Don't hit the poor girl! She's not guilty! Hit me! <laughs> Sadness, come back! What are you doing? <gasps> Did you see? It's joy and sadness! It can't be! They've gotten into the real world! Ah! Ah! I will suffer instead of little Tina! Ah! 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 Who are you? Ah! Ah! Who are you? Why are you blue? Something is wrong with my head! Ah! <sighs> Let's hurry. <laughs> Do you want to drive her insane? Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, new girl. Hello. Sit with me. Uh, how are you? Did our classmates offend you too much? Mm, we need to react somehow. Why are you standing still? It's my turn. <laughs> Ew, my classmates are annoying. They're totally insensitive. Don't worry. I understand. I just transferred here myself. <laughs> you must be hungry. Please eat. Oh, how sweet. Our girl is on a date. 
Uh, how about we eat a spaghetti together? Uh, like in the TikTok trend. Let's do the same. Ew! Is it crazy? That's unhygienic! Yuck! How disgusting! Or why did she do that? It's disgust fault. What is she doing? <sighs> ah, why are you like this? I'm sorry if I offended you. No, you didn't offend me. You annoyed me. <laughs> no, no, no. You didn't offend anyone. <laughs> oh, who are you? Oh! Where is he? He's strange. I hate boys. <laughs> We scared him off. Remember our crush from our hometown? He was such a sweetie. <laughs> no time to whine. Let's go save Tina. <laughs> Hello, darling. How are you? How was school? Your mother and I were so worried about you. Well, I went to school, got laughed at, then there was a date. But I spat in his face. What? Why did you offend the guy? Don't worry, that's how teenagers flirt. Although maybe now he's lost interest in you. <laughs> <gasps> how could she ever fall for that idiot? I told you, we should have married that foreigner. Blech. What? <gasps> oh, red alert! Wife is giving us a disapproving look! What did she ask us? What? Are you all right? Oh no! The parents are so annoying! What? Why are you even bothering me with questions? I don't want to discuss anything! And school is super scary! And it stinks like a dumpster! So back off! Ah, don't touch the remote anymore! We will upset her! You must be having a hard time. Let's calmly discuss everything at dinner, okay? We've lost Tina! We need to find her ASAP and get back into her head! I'm tired! I don't want anything! <laughs> your mind? Our girl is turning into a zombie! She will soon make stupid decisions and we won't be able to fix anything! <laughs> you said yourself that I'm not needed! Leave me here to cry! <laughs> yeah, right! Get moving! <laughs> You're so annoying with your whining! <laughs> So maybe you'll tell us what happened? Everything's fine. Broccoli? They know we don't like it! Ew! Broccoli! Oh, hey, what are you doing? Is it possible to behave like this? You don't want to tell us anything? Well, they've already driven me crazy! Time to work! Ah! Enough with your questioning! Everything is fine with me! Stop shouting, Tina! I'm tired of the city! Everything is not the same as at home! I want to go home! What's wrong with you? We're speaking to you calmly! Sit down now! I won't! Everything annoys me! I declare a boycott! Your behavior is horrible! Go to your room! You're grounded! <gasps> you yelled at me! Yelled at me! <laughs> exactly! You've misbehaved! Well, that was the last straw. That's it. I've had enough. Everything was fine in my hometown. But here life is just garbage. I'll run back home. Let them suffer. <laughs> what are we doing? We're helping 
making Tina become cool. Don't we have to help her somehow? Doesn't this seem foolish to you? <laughs> What's this cringe? Did she decide to draw attention to herself this way? <laughs> She's so annoying. Strange girl. There is something definitely wrong with her. Oh, I've got it. I'll show them that Tina is cool. Huh. Here I go. Oh, God. Yum, yum, yum. Hello, everyone. Didn't recognize me? It's me, Tina. She doesn't look like herself. Yeah, her voice is different. I brought you all some yummy treats. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> You're so cringy. <laughs> oh. There we go. We've ruined everything again. I'll do everything myself. Yeah! Oh, no, 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 wait. <laughs> Please forgive me. I just really want to find friends. It's so hard to be lonely. <laughs> what? Who are you? Who else? The lonely and unwanted Tina. <laughs> She's definitely lost it. She sent some fools instead of herself and thought we would believe. Let's go. <sighs> We've only made things worse. Let's go. It's time to find our little girl. Come on. We need to find a phone and check her social networks. We'll find where Tina is. Where are we going to get it from? <laughs> oh, just a second. Good day. How's your mood? How's the weather? I've seen you somewhere. What do you want? I just wanted to wish you a good day. <laughs> Don't listen to my sister. <laughs> Days are never good. What kind of madhouse is this school? I remember you. You're the blue whiner. You're annoying. Get lost. Oh, we did it. We are thieves. This is not right. Stop it. There are more important things. Our Tina ran away from home. We need to save her. Oh, no. Where is she? Let's hurry. She's getting on the bus. <laughs> That's it. I need to leave. Otherwise, there won't be another chance. We need to get on the bus with her. Otherwise, we'll lose her. I'm worried. <laughs> Stop whining. We can't blow our cover. <gasps> we can't allow this. It's dangerous. Maybe I shouldn't go anywhere. It's kind of scary. That's right. We don't know where this bus will take us. <laughs> Besides, this bus is so old. Get out of here! We need to finish what we started. <gasps> Don't dare approach the console. Let's go! <laughs> no, I need to go. I'm fed up with everything. Hurry after her. Wait for us. We're passengers too. Uh, good evening. Is Tina by chance at school? I understand it's already late. Sorry for the inconvenience. This is Tina's mom. Is she with you? Sorry. What do we do? Where could she have disappeared to? <laughs> could she have run away? <laughs> no, no. Our girl has never done this. <laughs> I'm calling the police. <laughs> we need to think about how to get inside her head and stop her. If you were interested, I just remembered that last time she was banging her head. Why were you silent? How long have you remembered this? A long time ago. I thought you were interested. <gasps> Yay! Ah! How did you get back? 
It looks like when Tina banged her head. We need to stop her! Move away! Wait. Come here. Me? Why? She needs you now. If not you, she won't realize that she needs to return. You said I wasn't needed. Forgive me. You were always needed. And especially now. Let's do it together. We can do it. <gasps> Whoa. Hello, darling. How are you? How was school? Your mother and I were so worried about you. Mom! Dad! Zach! Stop! Stop the bus! What? What happened? I'm sorry. I need to go home. I need to go home urgently. Oh, no. It's fine. <laughs> Darling, what happened? Where have you been? Forgive me. Daughter, sorry. Where were you? I didn't want to run away from you. I just wanted to go home. Everything was fine there. We're not mad at you, honey. I had everything there. Friends, a beloved home, a crush, and everything here is foreign. Everything will be fine. You'll find friends here and a new crush. Harry, stop it. We love you, Tina. <sighs> I love you, too. <laughs> Thank you. We wouldn't have saved Tina without you. Oh, come on. I just did what I had to. I think you've realized that if we fight, we only make it worse for Tina. Got it. I'll never say again that someone is not needed. Well, thank you, darn it. Got it. Quiet, quiet. Calm down. Let's give our Tina a chance to be happy again. Yeah, she suffered a lot while we were not there. Joy, it's your turn. <sighs> well, Tina, ready to fix everything you've messed up? Hello. Tina. Finally, I was starting to worry. Why are you worrying about her? Don't you dare! Fine. Let's smile at him. I'm sorry for acting weird. Moving is always hard. They probably hate me. Tina, what are you talking about? I explained everything to them. They misunderstood you and didn't know how much you were suffering. He's just so sweet! Oh no! They're coming to us! Uh, are you sure they're not mad? We're not mad. We just didn't have a chance to chat properly. I'm Melanie. Nice to meet you. What was all that circus with the posters and food about? You look so weird then. When? Yesterday. Don't you remember? I wasn't here then. Uh... Forget it, it's a joke. It seems we have a lot to learn about you yet. Subscribers, today uh, we filmed, um, I won't say a, a parody, uh, but our interpretation of the cartoon Inside Out. Let's say we took something absolutely original. Yes, yes. Absolutely interesting for your video, which we came up with absolutely with our well, own thoughts. Well, Pixar helped us a little. Well, just a little. It inspired us. Yes, really. Uh, so, and now we gathered first to play a game a little later, but first we will discuss a bit how you like today's video and what your favorite emotion is. Joy. 
Joy. Joy? Joy. Yes, Joy. Joy for everyone? Of Just course. For me. What could be better for than me? Joy? Wait, stop. For me, even. Uh, uh, excuse me. Even our video shows that joy doesn't always help sometimes. That's true. Sometimes there's room for sadness. What would you feel when there is a fall? Yeah. Everything should be in moderation. Do you often experience fear? Yes. <laughs> Strange question. Why not? <laughs> Lately, yes. yes. Especially at night. <laughs> fear is that people won't write about me in the comments. Please write about me in the comments. On about yeah. me. Why write about everyone. Write about me? We're all very afraid that you'll stop writing comments. Guys. How did you like the video? We can make a second part if you yes. really liked it. So now, guys. What do we oh, have? Now I'll tell you. Well, let's take one paper as an example. Let's First, we'll show it to the camera. Uh-huh. Here we have this paper. Now we look at it well. Uh, we need to guess the title of our video, which oh. we shot before. Is it something <laughs> like, my parents are getting divorced? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. Dad and mom. My parents are getting divorced. 100%. Dad and mom. Well, okay, we have an example. Let's, um, uh... Let's play. Can I? Can I? Go can ahead. I? Go ahead, Alice. Here. Okay. So what do we have here? Well, I understand. I think it's because I became a mermaid. Yes, well, yes. a girl and an arrow. Wow, yes, well, yes. I think I know oh, what this oh, oh. is. I'm sure. Ah, I am sure. I know too. It's animals. Yes. Element so really, animals. What is this? Elements? These are elements. We animals. shot it. I remember we had a, a turtle representing Earth, yes, and yes. the rabbit was air. Four elements air. Very, fire. very nicely done. I would take it home and hang it on the wall. <laughs> Good so idea. what's next? Oh, what, what could is it this really? be? This, let me think. Oh, this can... is well. I don't even this know. This is my boyfriend is First a vampire. Word, right? vampire. Yeah, I fell in love with a vampire. Oh, or yes. Well, or my boyfriend is a vampire. So 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 next next piece right of in paper. The <laughs> this, by the way. Um, I see a ah, girl I know, and a I robot. Know. Ah. This is Megan. Yeah Megan? yeah. Figured yes. it out This is my nanny, my teacher. My nanny wow. one, one day, one something. This is Megan. Yeah. What is yes. this? Yes, Megan. Megan. This is Megan. This is a school. And this, uh, this is Megan. Megan's, Megan's first, first day, day in a new, new school. school. They would have made a school with a bow, like new. Well, probably yes. my parents. My, my parents, parents prohibit, me. prohibit me. My parents prohibit me from yes, having really? a dog. Yes, really? Awesome. Jeez. Angels and demons. Yes. Against demons, right? Probably. Well, angels and demons, I think yes. Ah, a good guy and, ah, a, bad and a bad girl. girl. Yes. A bad girl. They're a yes. couple, yes. 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 How does it go correctly? I don't remember. A, a good, good guy, guy, and, a guy, and, a guy and a bad girl. Great, yes. Hmm, maybe these are elements. Wait, maybe these are mermaids. Look at the question. Water, fire, air, earth. What could this could it be? be pregnant? pregnant? Could it be pregnant? Definitely pregnant. 100%. Yes, yes, definitely pregnant. Uh, I'm sure. 100% pregnant. Pregnant fire, by the no, way. No, but actually these yes. are elements. Four <laughs> elements. I really liked I this see? video. This one video. Yes, I understood it's, what it is. It's We Are Doctors for 24 Hours. We, are doctors. we became doctors yes, for 24 hours. Yes, we became hours. doctors for 24 hours. I really liked Casey. She did a great job. I liked Chris in a girl's dress. Ooh, I figured out what it is. Well, let us think mm. too. Werewolves and vampires. Wait, wait. This is probably, probably Monster School. Uh, what if it's Harry Potter? Oh, oh, it's supernatural! Supernatural! I don't remember the name of the video. We were hunting monsters. Uh, Chris and I were, we were um, hunting cool. monsters then. Brothers Sam and Dean. <gasps> wow. Oh, pregnant! Pregnant, pregnant rich, rich, more pregnant, more and, pregnant, giga rich pregnant. and giga rich pregnant. Yes, we agree. Yeah. Well, yes. well, because there's here. money here. Well, money, pregnant money, little money. money. Rich, pregnant, lots of money. Now, that is a bit of a question Shut for me. It. Okay. Could it be the Hunger Games? No. No. It's a boy. Why is he a ninja? Oh. Oh, love weapons and a ninja. What could this be? He's he's not a ninja. Wait. He's a hint. He's bad. bad. A hint. Bad guy. Oh, I fell in love with a criminal. I got a little hint. Just a little bit. Well, just a little bit. Ooh. I love I love to eat a bun. Hunger Games, right? Oh, oh wow. Oh, cool. genius. Cindy has said Hunger Games so many this times. This is the Hunger Games. Works. What? And what's this? What is this? 
I, I think I know. My boyfriend against my friend. Correct? Boyfriend this is when Nate friend? and I were, when, when Nate and I fought over uh, Cassie. Exactly. It's probably this. Yes, yes, yes. Agree? So, guys, we have another game. We have uh, an emotion in one of the hats, and in the other hat, we have... Situation. 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 And we have to tell a situation from life with this emotion. No, I want this piece of paper. Go on. No, I want this one after all. Open it. Open it. The first thing I have is... The biggest cringe shame. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Cringe. This is your emotion. This piece of paper didn't mm. fall into my <laughs> Yeah, it's very funny. <laughs> oh. Indignation. I will have to be indignant. So you should have the emotion of indignation. Tell your cringe. So guys, <laughs> I remembered one very cringy story. I think it's not cringy, but they tell me it's cringy. Go Here's on, go situation. on. Here's the situation. We have a scene here. I'm eating burgers in the frame. So, well, of course, I think it's delicious. But it lacks something. I want meat. I ate it on camera, with all due respect. But a little bit purely, and I think taxis, I don't need it. I go to the toilet, clean my beautiful teeth, look at this burger, and think... Why do I need it? Threw it into the toilet. Flushed it and went on. I shoot, everything is fine, <laughs> and they tell me. And so, Harry! What is this? And where's the stuck burger? in the toilet? What is this? Ah, stuck in the toilet. Yeah, I imagine that. Well, that's cringe. The funniest thing is that we noticed the burger in the toilet and we immediately knew it was Harry. <laughs> I don't even know why. Subscribers, rate from 1 to 10 how cringe this situation is. And now I can... The biggest fear of all. Fear? Panic. Wow. Lucky. Lucky. Oh, panic. Darn. The biggest fear. Oh, I was little. I went into the forest. It was already dark in the evening. No. First the sun. The sun was shining. There was already such a sunset. I remember with a friend into the forest. I was probably about 13 years old. <laughs> we go into the forest and were there so long it got dark. We couldn't find the way back. And that's it. And there, there were wild boars in that forest. And we got scared. And we were looking for the road probably for about 40 minutes there to go to the road. Well, there was a forest near my house to go to that place about seven minutes. But we were getting out for about 40 minutes. And it was very scary. And that's it. <laughs> you smelled like wonderful. a little child. Oh, so scared. <laughs> yeah. Well, an actor, an actor, oy, an actor. Oy. I just always panic, always. A love story. Ah, and the second one? Oh, anger. Anger. Ooh. The story of love, and you also have such an emotion, anger. You can tell not a happy story, but uh, remember okay, something. Okay, an unhappy love story. Once in the first grade, I really liked a boy. I ran after him. I did homework for him. I helped him every day in the tests. He rejected me, said it was not pretty, that I was annoying, and I loved him, I loved him. I wanted to hug him so much. He didn't want to hug me. And then at some point he told me that he loves BTS. And I stopped loving him. <laughs> <laughs> bravo, bravo, bravo. I think Christy did the best job so far. Take it so. Delight. Delight what? Study. Stuck. Oh, just delightful. Oh, it will be very difficult to tell about studying I with skip delight. I school, oh yeah. There was a week when I was sick. And so, the story. Once we had a lesson. More and, delight. Oh, and the teacher was very kind. So kind that all the students then came out angry. So angry. And very sad and angry as much as possible. Well, she was so kind, we all... And then she decided to give me a very bad grade in the lesson. Although everything was correct, everything was cool, everything was good. And when I was leaving the classroom, I thought, why not? And kicked the door with all my strength. Well, I almost knocked out her door. But for that, I was very, very happy. <laughs> well? <laughs> I think it was brilliant. But still, subscribers, the choice is yours. Who told the story the best? Be sure to write in the comments. Uh, in my opinion, the person who did the best job is... Christy! Woo! Thank you! Hooray! Christy, well done!
But you still write, who do you think is best? And now, guys, we played two games, discussed roles, yeah. and now let's watch Blue Bears!